We're gonna meet up with, it looks like Kevin from Cruising with Wills. We are on a mission to try lobster ice cream. There is patties, Irish. Oh, pub. we're gonna have a pub, a pub, a pub. We have to have a pint of beer. We have to have a shandy or something. Oh, there right he there. is. There he is. The man who survived almost, almost to fall from the cliff. cliff. <laughs> oh what my happened? God, I almost fell off a cliff. Well, I was texting you. <laughs> I told and, you it's your fault. You were texting him. And this is why Frank says, pay attention when you're walking. <laughs> so over you. here, there's a trail. There's a That goes a, by the hotel. That goes by the hotel. <coughs> and I was way over there. I found this really great spot to take pictures of the ship. It's all over close. And I literally turned around because I was trying to find out where I was. And you text. <laughs> And, and I went, oh, Patty's Irish Pub, whoa! <laughs> and a very nice woman grabbed me Serious? as I was like this. Oh my God. She saved your life. She saved That's you. That's hilarious. D&G Explorers almost caused. <laughs> you, don't drag me into this. You almost caused him to fall off a cliff. It was up further. All right. Oops, we found it. We hit it. We have. This is one of the places Greg wants to go to, which is the Sherman's Bookstore. And right across the way here is Ben's Chocolate Emporium. It is super close to where we are going, so it's right across the street here. We are going to try the lobster ice cream. Got blueberry fudge. So here, you guys, here is the ice cream. You can see the ice cream counter. And right here, right here, is the lobster. And let's see if they have any orange milk chocolate buttercreams. Ooh, milk chocolate rum, truffles. Oi. We got Bailey's. What do you pick? I have one of everything. <laughs> I'm looking at, I love orange, but this was dark. Oh, they got milk chocolate orange milk truffles. Chocolate. So I'm probably going to do that, and I'll probably get my mom some rum. Milk chocolate ginger? <laughs> wow. Oh my God, I'm starving now. We'll do two scoops. Okay, so, okay two scoops. Yeah. Let her pay first, Greg. She can pay first. Oh, wait, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't Are you on the stage? Hey, everybody. This lobster segment is brought to you by More Sunshine, Please, where the sun is as golden as the melted butter for your lobster. More Sunshine, Please. Grab your lobster ice cream. So we got lobster ice cream from Ben and Bill's Chocolate Emporium. Let's see what it's like. <laughs> it's like vanilla ice cream mixed with lobster meat is really what all it is. <laughs> so it's like eating cold lobster meat. <laughs> You will have Derek try it. Gross? No, it's not gross. All right. So in addition to the ice cream, I got three other, I got chocolates. I got milk chocolate orange, truffle, milk chocolate rum, truffle, and a milk chocolate ginger. So we're looking forward to have that. We are at Ben and Bill's Chocolate Emporium. This is the lobster ice cream. Kevin, at the same time, let's try it. Cheers. Kevin Cheers. from Cruising Do it for with the Wheels. vlog. <laughs> It tastes bad. Not bad. It tastes more the uh, vanilla ice cream than anything. So all the explorers out there, <laughs> if you don't know, I don't like seafood. But this isn't bad. And when in Maine, you have to try 
the lobster ice cream. <laughs> From Ben and Bill's Chocolate Emporium in Baja Baja. Taste the lobster. Mm. <laughs> All right, Greg, we just went to where? The Crystal Spirit. Handcrafted. So we, a couple cool things that we got. Let's, let's see, got the Santa train, which is cool looking. And then I got the Norwegian Escape. So that's probably gonna be our one thing from Bahaba that we're, our gift for that. We're gonna walk up the street a little bit, head back on down the other side, go into a few more shops, and then we're gonna call it a quits. Kevin said, from Cruising with Will said, the lines are long heading back, so uh, we'll make sure we're not too close to the 4.30 last ship call. We are heading over here into a little park. <coughs> Let's see what this park is, Greg. We passed this when we were on the, uh, the tour. Do you remember that? Oh, they have an old theater right there. Yes, we do. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, it says... Nelson Abbey. <laughs> huh. That's really a theater. Yes. I wonder how many seats are there. So this must be called the Village Green. Greg, let's go out past that little walk to see if we can get a better view, a picture of the ship. This is probably gonna be the best port to do that. So we'll just go straight on down Main Street. When we get to that little park, we'll take a right. This is an awesome town. I would love to live here. <laughs> we said the same thing about Portland. Portland's a lot more uh, trendier, I like this more one. modern. I like this, one. this is more quaint. I like this, don't you? Yep. There's a Bar Harbor Tea Company. But I don't know if there's any big jobs around here. No. It would be have to be like a summer home. Or you'd have to be a fisherman. <laughs> I ain't getting no water with sharks. I would. There's Bark Harbor. There's another Big Dipper, CJ's Big Dipper ice cream. There's a tea shop. <coughs> you think maybe, Greg, do you want to get some tea there? Huh? Some tea bags there that you can um, t uh, you just use the hot water on the ship. All right, Greg, we just went to the Acadia Country Store. You got yourself some hot tea for your hot throat. Honey tea, and honey then and mint tea. Two things they said to try is what? They said some to try chocolate. Need them. Eat which is chocolate. potato based and, and also moxie. Moxie. I have no idea what that is so. we are going to try two tastes of Maine the Needham milk chocolate and a moxie. Yeah, is that moxie. cold? it's cold yeah so okay. we'll let you know what we California boys think of a little bit of Maine I really like this town this is such a Cool. There's a lot of activity with it being the time of year, still nice weather, a big ship in port. It probably isn't as crowded though for normal. No, day. yeah. Well, you figure with 4,000 uh, people on the ship. So I think I'm done with buying stuff from Bar Harbor. I think we yeah, got a good. Too. We still have a couple more ports to, to go. So we got a, a, a couple of items along the way. Mostly food stuff that we've already eaten. So we're going to go in front of that hotel that we saw coming in. We're going to take some great pictures of the ship. And then we will call it. We'll be going back day. on the tender onto the ship. <laughs> yeah, it gives us enough time so we're not fighting the we're crowds. We're not those people. Yeah, <laughs> we're not those people. Oh, saying that, look what we got here. Yeah. Yeah. Maple cream whoopies. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's awesome. Next visit. No, we go over, over here. Back over there. All right, so this is the park, Agamont Park. <laughs> what was that? 
I don't know, that was a barking spider or something like that. All right, they got two cannons out here protecting us from all the pirates that are out here. All right, guys, we're not gonna go too far, but we wanna get some good pictures of this ship and we heard this walk, if you don't fall off the cliffs, are a good spot to watch it. Well, we're not gonna go down there. Oh, we didn't get a chance to do that uh, walk across the bay, which would have been over there. There it is. Next time. Mountain. Yeah, that we know the name, huh? Yeah. So, wouldn't it be cool to be sitting out here and seeing all the ships come in? I, w I wonder how expensive a night here would be to stay. Hello. Hello. It's probably like $500, if not more. <laughs> probably more. But look at the views from this. You can see a one of the ship's lifeboats being taken over there. All right, we found a spot for us to try our main stuff. It's Needham, like Needham well, chocolate. And this is our view in front of our ship. I'll take the one that was in the bag and take this one. This chocolate is supposed to be made out of potato or something inside of it is potato. I don't know. Yeah. I've never heard of these. Okay, let's try it. Mm. The inside looks like a mashed potato. It's like a mounds. It is like a mounds. And that's what that person said. It's like a coconut. It's a mounds. But it's made out of... Potato. Potato. It's really good. And it goes really good. With a hot cup of tea. I have... Moxie, so hold on one sec. Alright. It looks to me like it's kind of like... Coke. It says drink moxie.com and the guy's pointing his finger at you. So I better do it. It's distinctly different. What do you think it tastes like? I have an idea of what it tastes like in my mind. Root beer. It does kind of. It tasted like those little, like the, they're kind of like wafers. They're kind of like pastel looking things. They're kind of like a wafery taste to it. I can't think of what candy it is. Well, one thing I'll say is it's distinctly different, that's for sure. Not sure if I like it too much. It has kind of like a bitter aftertaste. Does it say what, <coughs> it's, what it's made out of? Molasses. Gentian root extractives. And then all the other stuff that's in there, like Ooh. acid, folic acid, and all that. <laughs> Ooh, corn syrup. All the good stuff. All right, guys, we're going to get ready to finish this up, head to the tender, and get back on our home away from home, which is our Norwegian escape, which we can see right across the way here. <laughs> so we are ending our day at Bar Harbor and we saw Porcupine Mountain, which is right over there. If you turn it around quick, there's Porcupine Mountain in our ship. Oh, the tender's coming back. We might just make that tender. We're gonna try. We're trying to get on it. We're gonna. If you, if you see anything, you might see some V-rolls, but other than that, we're going to end it. Hopefully not too much wind. We didn't have to go across the water where the water recedes off the island and you can walk clear across the ocean. And then like it's only from two o'clock or one o'clock to mm -hmm. something like that to some other time. And then it fills up with water again. So it goes to 11 feet of water. So good luck trying to get back after that. But we're going to go ahead and close this segment. Say bon voyage! See you back on the ship. 
So Greg, we found out today all these are these are red rose gal, tips. rose rose tips. They're rose rose regal, tips, but they're called rose regal. They said, and you <coughs> smash them, and it turns into like you can make dry them out and turn them into a tea or a medicinal type drink that's supposed to cure. All kinds of things, they he said. He said rheumatoid, arthritis, um, cancer. Well, if there was a, if it gives a cure for that, we'd be eating these up like crazy. They um, said that, well, they do have like vitamin C. They'll have vitamin C with rose hips. So now I know exactly what <laughs> rose hips look like. We're in a lifeboat. Tendering over to the ship. My phone's ringing. <laughs> That's funny, I'm out on the ocean my phone's ringing. <coughs> we are back. Well, if you would open it. In your room. If you could open it. I don't know if it's for all of us or what. It doesn't say. So. That's for you, specifically for, for you. For me? Um, Why yes. would it be for me? Because you're well, a very we'll important person. <laughs> I know, that's what it says. So it says, since, we'll you're, share these. Um, since you're a special guest, I'd like to invite you to enjoy a complimentary dinner in the Moderna restaurant and enjoy a bottle of wine from my complimentary yeah. wine list. Oh my gosh. I wonder <laughs> if that could, I can have my Woodbridge wine. <laughs> that would be considered that. That is so awesome. Hey, explorers, we are looking from our window view or Veranda view, we are port view side of Bar Harbor, and that is the hotel that we took a picture from earlier that we were talking to you at when we ate our chocolates and tea, or I had tea, and you had a what was it called? A drink? I had a moxie. He didn't drink it all, he didn't like it. I didn't, <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't like the aftertaste. But if you can see, it was closer, really cool when we talked about the water from low tide to high tide is a difference of 11 feet. Oh yeah, and if you can see, we're gonna walk that, but we never got to. There is an island above my hands there. It's a my strip finger. of land that the water covers after a certain time of day. Yes, and it's hard enough that people can drive their cars all the way to the other side. And I was telling Derek, I don't know how people get to their boats that are just parked out in the middle of the ocean. You probably have to use a canoe or something, but then what do you do with a canoe? Yeah, it's kind of, it is kind of odd that they have just small boats way out there. In fact, if you look, there is a red boat which is getting close to a very small rowboat. It's almost up to it. <coughs> but the tender boats are coming in and out constantly. Well, the white one's a tender boat, and then they're using the lifeboats to also tender people out and in, which is what we took back when we got back to the ship. We took a lifeboat. What? I never thought we'd see the inside of a lifeboat. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, if you look across, you can see the foliage is starting to change, more so than in Portland. We'll see if it's any big, any more of a difference in um, the next two towns, which are St. John's Bay of Fundy, New Brunswick, as well as Halifax, Nova Scotia. But this has been a beautiful port. It's a gorgeous island. <laughs> Probably one of my favorite ports I visited. I think it is my favorite, actually. This and St. Thomas, but I think this still takes over St. Thomas. I think it's my favorite port so far. It's very cool. Hey, explorers. Hey, explorers. We wanted to recap the tour that we went on yesterday, which was the Acadia National Park and Lobster Bait Tour. It didn't even seem like it was three and a half hours long. No, it was, yeah, it was three and a half hours. It was $149. So this is the description. Basically 150 <laughs> Of what it was advertised as. This terrific tour combines the highlights of the Acadia National Park tour with a true down east lobster bait. Starting off from the pier, your journey takes you to Acadia National Park, first passing through the quaint town of Bar Harbor, to view some of the charming Victorian Bar National Harbor. That's right, sorry. Bar <laughs> Harbor. Uh, to view some of the charming Victorian mansions built by America's rich and famous at the turn of the century. Upon arrival at the park, you will proceed along a 27 mile park loop road, taking in spectacular coastal, mountain, and forest views. 
Next, you will travel along the ocean's edge, passing Sand Beach, Schooner Head Overlook, which we stopped at, and the High Seas Estate, a beautiful mansion built by a wealthy gentleman whose wife perished on the Titanic before ever stepping foot in her dream home. Now, we only saw that from the distance, because he pointed it out as we went mm -hmm. along. It wasn't something that was super close that we passed by. And when he says by the edge of the ocean, he means by the edge <laughs> of the ocean. Here's the road, here's the bus. <laughs> There's no railing Some of them to protect you. Big drop offs. Continuing on, you'll pass Thunder Hole. If there is parking available, you will make a brief stop there, which we did make a brief stop. The um, Otter Cliffs and the Jordan Pond House, as you make your way to a scenic setting where the delicious treat of a true down east lobster bake awaits you. Pulled fresh from the ocean water, you will enjoy typical Maine lobster dribbled with butter, dribbled, dribbled, drizzled with butter and all the trimmings. So all the trimmings we had a couple well, of Mine wasn't drizzled with butter. I just had the butter, the butter yeah. to dip it in. Um, so it was a full lobster. We had poor little things, um, but they taste good. We had the potato. We had corn. We with had it. two big potatoes, corn a cob, a smaller blueberry pie. It. Yeah, a small. He called it a tart, blueberry tart. When I pulled open the lobster tail all I had was a bunch of water dumping out I probably had a cup's worth of water <laughs> you did have a lot <coughs> um, so for dessert you won't want to miss one of Maine's local favorites a mouth-watering piece of homemade blueberry pie I was a little bit disappointed with the blueberry pie because it was just a what? Little smaller thing it was tasty I liked it it tastes good for those of you who do not I like was enough steak sorry uh, lobster steak is available upon request and they did request that at the beginning so there were two steaks it was $149 including the tour guide he had a steak <laughs> what he meant by two steaks uh, only two people on yes. the bus requested steak dinners. yes um, so with it being $149 Greg did you think this tour was worth that much money and was it as advertised I think it was that much money because of the lobster bake. They kind of ramped up, you know, pushed up the price. Um, as far as the tour itself, it was beautiful. I mean, the sights and everything were awesome. So I wish it was a little bit lower. I don't think it's worth $150, maybe $120. I don't think Greg realized, because we've talked about this before, if we would have booked this further out, because we booked it probably more. less than between two to three months out. I'm not sure the exact date. And they raised it to 149 This was $199. Oh, I would say no. Sorry, sorry it was $99. Okay, but that's they raised it. it to $149. We didn't do it because we had booked two cruises within that period, so we didn't have a, a lot of free money. So we were going to book it online. Here's a hint. If you guys don't want to pay up front and you don't really have the extra money right now, call Norwegian. If you can book it online, you can call them. That's uh, the time available. And you can save yourself some money. We have not paid for that excursion yet. Well, now it's showing in our portfolio of our cruise. But if you pay online, you have to pay immediately. You put it in your cart. You pay for it. If you call them, you do not have to pay right away. So we would have saved ourselves between us. $100, 50 for me, 50 for Greg, if I would have realized that. So point to yourself, a uh, helpful hint. If you guys um, are thinking about doing something, you can call and book through Norwegian. So I would definitely do that. Um, other than that, I, it was it was an expensive tour, by far the most expensive one. It was but the it most was a very beautiful good tour, tour yeah, actually. It was, it was <laughs> a, I think it was as advertised. And it was my favorite port of all. I think because yes. just the greenery and the beauty and everything and the ocean and I just like places like that with ocean and rocks and trees and greenery and stuff so you can see the changing of the seasons a little bit so that was really nice it's really cool so hopefully that gives you a little bit more insight is this tour worth it I would say yes um, but try to get it a little bit cheaper now you can book off um, away from bar uh, from the cruise line, I would not recommend it because 
We have priority disembarkation. This is one of the ports you have to tender out of. If you don't have a reservation through Norwegian, you have to um, get a, you have, beforehand, the day before, you had to do um, a booking to get a tender off separately. Mm -hmm. We didn't have to book a tender because we had a cruise and we had priority disembarkation. So, which was, which was a lifeboat. <laughs> and some of the people didn't we get took off. took a lifeboat back. Some of the people got off the ship really early. Some of them didn't get off until um, like around one or two. They didn't really weren't able to get on to the ship, off the <coughs> ship, onto the island. So, um, in that case, it's worth it to get the disembarkation, so you don't have to worry about running down to get a tender to sign up for a tender. So, uh, otherwise, I thought it was a really good tour. I really this is so far one of the best tours I've ever taken. I think. Yeah, I think um, Bar Harbor was my best port and then the one before that when we were in portland, uh, portland maine and then st thomas would be the third okay. that's really good to know all right explorers we'll catch up with you later